Welcome to the channel. Today we're diving deep into one of the most crucial yet often misunderstood aspects of Formula One, the tires. If you've ever wondered why teams make certain strategy calls or why drivers complain about grip, this comprehensive guide to F1 tires for the 2025 season will answer all your questions. Tires might just look like rubber circles, but they're actually sophisticated performance tools that can make the difference between victory and defeat. By the end of this video, you'll understand F1 tire compounds, rules, and strategies like a seasoned pit wall strategist. Tire Basics Let's start with the fundamentals. Pirelli has been Formula One's exclusive tire supplier since 2011, and their current contract runs until 2027. Every tire you see on the grid is manufactured by Pirelli, ensuring a level playing field in terms of rubber. For the 2025 season, Pirelli has introduced significant changes to their tire lineup. The most notable change is the expansion to six different dry weather compounds, ranging from the hardest C0 to the softest C5, with the addition of a brand new ultra soft C6 compound for specific street circuits. Dry weather tires. The backbone of F1 racing is the dry weather or slick tires. For 2025, Pirelli has a complete range of compounds from C0 to C6. The C0 is the hardest compound, designed for high wear circuits with abrasive surfaces. From there, we progress through C1, a hard compound offering durability with limited grip. C2, a medium hard compound, balancing durability and performance. C3, the true middle ground compound that's versatile for many circuits. C4, a softer compound, offering increased grip but reduced longevity. C5, a very soft compound, prioritizing grip over durability. And finally, the new C6, an ultra-soft compound, specifically designed for street circuits with low abrasion. What makes F1 tire strategy interesting is that for each race weekend, Pirelli selects only three compounds from this range, based on the specific demands of the circuit. These three selected compounds are then designated as the hard, medium, and soft tires for that particular Grand Prix. This means teams need to adapt their strategies for each track, as the actual compounds under those color designations will vary throughout the season. Tires Identification To help fans identify which compound each driver is using, Pirelli has a simple color coding system. Hard tires have white sidewall markings, medium tires have yellow sidewall markings, and soft tires have red sidewall markings. This system makes it easy to follow strategy during a race broadcast, but it's important to remember that the actual compound being used can vary from race to race, even though the color coding remains consistent. For example, at a high wear circuit like Silverstone, the hard tire might be the C1 compound, while at Monaco, the hard tire might be the C3 compound. This variation allows Pirelli to tailor the tire selection to each track's unique characteristics. Wet weather tires. Formula One doesn't stop for rain, and Pirelli provides two specialized wet weather tire types. Intermediate tires with green sidewalls for damp conditions or light rain, and full wet tires with blue sidewalls for heavy rain and standing water. Unlike the dry compounds, these wet weather tires remain consistent throughout the season. The intermediate and full wet tires have treads designed to evacuate water and prevent aquaplaning, with the full wets able to disperse up to 85 liters of water per second at 300 kilometers per hour. For 2025, Pirelli has made significant improvements to the wet weather tires. They've introduced a new tread design to reduce block movement that can lead to overheating, and they've modified the compound for the full wet tire to make it closer to the intermediate, creating a wider operating window during crossover conditions. These improvements should make the challenging transition period between wet and dry conditions more manageable for drivers. Tire allocations. Understanding tire allocations is crucial for appreciating team strategy throughout a race weekend. For a standard Grand Prix weekend, each driver receives 13 sets of dry weather tires divided among the three selected compounds. Typically two sets of hard tires, three sets of medium tires, and eight sets of soft tires. They also get four sets of intermediate tires and three sets of full wet tires for potential rain conditions. The allocation changes slightly for sprint race weekends, where the dry tire allocation is reduced to 12 sets to accommodate the different format. These limited allocations force teams to make strategic decisions about when to use each compound. They can't simply use their fastest tires for every session. They have to carefully plan their usage across practice, qualifying, and the race to maximize performance when it matters most. Tire Rules and Regulations F1 tire regulations directly impact race strategy and create much of the tactical variety we see during Grand Prix. The most significant rule is that teams must use at least two different dry compound tires during a race if it remains dry. This effectively makes at least one pit stop mandatory, preventing teams from using a single ultra-durable compound for the entire race distance. There are several other important rules that shape strategy, 
An extra set of soft tires is reserved for drivers who reach Q3 in qualifying, while those who don't reach Q3 can save this set for the race, potentially giving them a strategic advantage. Teams must return two sets of tires after each free practice session, forcing them to make choices about which compounds to preserve for qualifying in the race. During sprint qualifying, drivers must use new mediums for SQ1 and SQ2, and new softs for SQ3. After a sprint race, drivers must return the set of tires with which they completed the most laps. All these regulations create a complex strategic puzzle for teams to solve each weekend. Tire Performance Characteristics The performance characteristics of each compound create the foundation for race strategy decisions. Soft tires are the fastest over a single lap, sometimes up to a full second quicker than harder compounds. They reach optimal operating temperature quickly, making them ideal for qualifying and race starts. However, they suffer from higher degradation, typically lasting only 15 to 20 laps before performance significantly drops. Medium tires offer a good balance between performance and durability. They're often the most strategic race tire because they provide competitive lap times while lasting considerably longer than the softs, typically 25 to 35 laps depending on the circuit. Their versatility makes them suitable for various track conditions and the cornerstone of many successful race strategies. Hard tires are the most durable option but the slowest in terms of outright pace. They can last 40 plus laps in ideal conditions, making them perfect for high wear circuits or one-stop strategies. The trade-off is clear. What you gain in longevity, you lose in immediate performance. However, fresh hard tires can often outperform severely degraded softer compounds, which is why timing pit stops correctly is so crucial. Tire strategy. Tire strategy is where races are often won and lost, with teams having to consider multiple factors simultaneously. Track characteristics play a major role. Is the surface abrasive? Are there high-speed corners putting lateral loads on the tires? Or is it a technical circuit with lots of traction zones? Weather conditions dramatically affect tire behavior, with even small temperature changes potentially shifting the optimal operating window of each compound. Qualifying position influences strategic options, as does the difficulty of overtaking its specific circuit. Several typical strategies emerge across the season. A one-stop strategy usually involves starting on mediums and switching to hards, minimizing time lost in the pits but requiring careful tire management. Two-stop strategies, often using soft-medium-medium or medium-hard-medium combinations, allow drivers to push harder during each stint but lose more time in pit stops. The undercut, pitting before your rival to gain track position with fresher tires, and the overcut, staying out longer than your rival to gain an advantage with fresher tires later, are tactical weapons teams deploy based on tire performance. Tire Testing and Development Pirelli conducts extensive testing to develop F1 tires. For the 2025 compounds, they performed over 10,000 hours of indoor testing, completed more than 5,000 hours of simulation, developed 70 virtual prototypes, and tested 30 different specifications over 2,025, 20,000 kilometers. This rigorous development process ensures the tires meet the extreme demands of Formula One racing while providing the performance characteristics that create exciting and strategic races. The new C6 Ultra Soft Compound is a product of this extensive development, specifically tested at the Mexico City Grand Prix and Abu Dhabi post-season test in 2024 before being introduced for the 2025 season. This new compound should provide even more strategic options at low abrasion circuits like Monaco, where generating tire temperature can be challenging. Sustainability Efforts Formula One aims to be net zero carbon by 2030, and Pirelli is playing their part in this important initiative. They're actively increasing the percentage of sustainable and renewable materials in their tires, developing improved recycling methods for used tires, and optimizing transportation and manufacturing processes to reduce their carbon footprint. These efforts demonstrate how technological development in motorsport can contribute to broader environmental goals, with innovations eventually making their way to road car tires. Conclusion Understanding F1 tires gives you a deeper appreciation of the strategic chess game that unfolds during each Grand Prix. Tire management is often the difference between championship success and failure, with drivers needing to balance immediate pace against long-term tire preservation. The 2025 season brings exciting changes with the new C6 compound and improved wet weather tires that should enhance the racing spectacle at specific venues. If you've enjoyed this deep dive into F1 tires, please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest F1 content. Thank you for watching. What F1 topic would you like us to explore next? Let us know in the comments below.